try to stay on here as long as I can. Um, I really only came on here because it was brought to my attention that uh, Mike Holloway said that we are more racist than white people. Mike, did you say that? I did not. I, I did say that you were racist. I, oh, no, oh not, you know what? I know the statement. I know the statement. Did he say black people in general? I'm, right. I'm I was saying. Like I was saying if we're not okay, I, I I remember the statement. Let me clarify. I was saying if we're not careful in our anger at white people over what has been done throughout history, we can become more racist than they are, right? Because they're you know that's that was my statement. Mike, I did not make it. How can we come? How can we become more racist? than the people who literally have power over us, who have raped, robbed, and murdered, and committed genocide. How can we be more racist than them? Easy. Racism, right? And again, there, there, are, two, there are a couple different definitions of racism, right? Some people believe you can't be racist if you don't have power. I think that's nonsense. What I believe racism describes is a superiority of race over another. So, so me believing that I'm in some way superior morally and or, uh, you know, even ethically, I'm superior over another human being. I'm a better race and I'm entitled to more than that race. That is what I define as racism. Now, if you okay. use a different definition, okay. then, then my then definition we, of racism is organized systemic racism where there's laws in place, legislation in place, where they're actually committing genocide and killing you and getting away with it. There's no way a black person can be more racist than a white person. And for you to say that lets me know exactly why you are a failure to our community and you're a sellout. I'm going to just be real with it. Ain't no a young sellout, no strong words. Let, let me just say this. Ain't no young black man with a backbone going to respect you if you're going to sit up here and say just because we want justice and we're we're angry at the people for what they did to us, that we're more racist than them. That's ridiculous. All right. Let and me then you say and then you say, hold on real quick. Then you say that sure. racism is believing that you're superior than another race. So I got a question for you. Was God racist when he chose Israel? I know you said in the new covenant when Christ's blood was shed, there is no chosen no more. But was he racist when he chose Israel over every other nation in the Old Testament? When he said, you are above me, when he said, you only have I known out of all the families of the earth. When he said, I have only dealt with you. Was he racist when he did that? OK, good. Good, good question. That's that definitely yeah, say that's shot a good, that's a good, good one right question. here. I told y'all I gotta mute him. Go Hold on, Brian. Brian, it wasn't no good one. So don't, 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 don't amp him up. All right, all right, all right. I'm I'm myself. Myself. I'm I'm myself. So, but let's first deal with this whole sellout thing. No, what's a sellout is teaching our young black men hatred. What's a sellout is misinterpreting the Bible, telling people that they're going to have slaves and making people kiss your feet, right? What's a sellout is not being true to the word of God and, and having a, a, a spirit of cussing everybody out and being rude. That's that's what a sellout is. Now, again, I'm not trying to get into uh, a war of ad hominems with you, D. Mike, we show me talk. me cussing oh, people out. Like. Hold, hold on, D. But you placed the fault. You built the war for I ain't done. Show me cussing people out. D, hold on. D, come on now. That was a lie. That was a lie. Show me cussing people around. Stop it, D. Just stop. Anybody who know you, know. But anyway, let me finish what I... D, I'm, let me finish. You can respond any way you want. But, but number one, number one, again, that's what I would call a sellout. But again, I don't... Listen, I credit it to you just simply not knowing the true biblical Christ. So I don't have no hatred for you, D. I love you. I want to see you repent of that false doctrine and come to the true Christ and get saved. So I'm not I'm not trying to bang against you and us get in here and have two black men in here arguing and calling each other names. That's not my point. My point is to try to deliver you from that false teaching. Now, let's get to your what you tried to make is the biblical claim. Yes, God selected Israel above all the nations of the earth, but not because they were the greatest, not because they were stronger in number. And he selected them so that they might be the light of the world. It was God's intention that Israel would draw the other nations to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That was the intention. So yes, God favored Israel in that way. Nobody argues that. But to say 
but but when you understand what scripture is talking about in Romans chapter number 11, this was God's plan. God is using Israel's rejection to draw, show mercy to Gentiles. And then by virtue of him saving Gentiles, he in turn is provoking Israelites to jealousy, thereby saving both groups. Okay. The, the not, tree is holy, the lump is holy, the whole vine is holy. So it's it's not, not, yeah. it's not. He just sat up here and said to everybody, and this is why I'm telling you, I'm in the trenches. Our people do not respect black Christian elders anymore because of what Mike just said. He okay. said, it, you're a sellout we because don't care. you want justice. Exactly. You don't care about your community. You care about the white theologians. About your teach. opinion. Anyway, let me keep talking because I don't respect you, Mike, not one bit. So, But you go, but hold on. I you go show y'all respect. Y'all I thought y'all had a good you to talk. If we, we gonna, gonna talk, here, though, gonna show respect. Here, no, you don't have to respect me, oh, but, oh, but oh, you're not gonna disrespect me. Though. Did I call you, you out your name? Respect. Did I call you out your name? Yes. What, what did I call you, Mike? A uh, sellout. Okay, you sold out. Okay, you sold again. out, and you call me a sellout. Respect. You did, call me a sellout, right? No, I didn't. No, I didn't address. Did. I, I addressed the teachings. Yeah. I am I a problem, Mike? Am I a sellout? Am I a sellout? Deke, you a sinner that needs okay. saving. You just told everybody I was a sellout. Anyway, well, you point I'm trying to make is... Hey, yo, Deacon don't got that much... Uh, Deacon don't got that much time. I would like to... get to Because if Christianity is wrong...